What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick look at what's new with the second beta of iOS 10. Now, of course, we're going to see many betas before we see the final release, but I've already done a really extensive walkthrough of what's new with iOS 10 in a separate video, and I'll leave that linked in the description below if you want to check it out. So we're going to take a look at the small tweaks they've made with the second beta. Perhaps the biggest new feature is available under the Health app and under Medical ID, and that is organ donation. So you can actually sign up with Donate Life, in order to become a registered organ and tissue donor. Another change is available under the messaging app. So we now have an app store for the messaging app and that's available in the lower left corner. So if we go to store, this will actually take us to the apps that are available for messaging. So basically these are apps that support messaging features. And if you wanna add one of these, let's go ahead and get this one and install it. You can see this will install this and once it's installed, it will become available to you in the messaging app. We also have a manage tab and this is where we can manage the apps that are plugged into iMessage. So if you wanna click some of these off, you can. And we can also have it automatically add those apps that support iMessaging. So in terms of this specific app here, these are basically digital stickers, somewhat similar to the digital touch features available on the Apple Watch. They've also tweaked the lock screen, so we now get an unlock animation toward the top, so when I unlock it with my fingerprint, you can see it says it's unlocked. Uh, so it's a little more clear than it was before. Instead of just disappearing, it actually tells you that it's unlocked. And of course, we can go ahead and open up our home screen. Another new feature that's appearing for the first time, at least for me, is this feedback app. You can log in with your Apple ID and contribute feedback to development for this beta. Now, if you 3D touch on folders in addition to renaming them, you can actually see the notification count for each app instead of just a global uh, counter for the entire folder. They've also revised some of the 3D touch features in the control center. So when I 3D touch here, you can see the iconography and language has changed in addition to some of the options. We also get a slightly different Siri animation on the home screen. So when I activate Siri, you can see the home screen sort of zooms out a bit and then fades uh, to a translucent state. So that's a slight change. The HomeKit control center has also been tweaked here with some new iconography and features. So for example, right now I have my light strip right here on the back. If I want to control it here, I can just tap and hold on it. And this will allow me to change the brightness for the light strip, which is very neat. And I can also change the colors. If I want pink, I can go ahead with that, go back to brightness and slide up. I can also assign different colors for each of these circles so I can go to edit and pick something else. I also have temperature settings so I can change the color temperature. So if I just want something warmer, actually that's a really nice color or cooler, I can go ahead and pick that. The music app has also been tweaked, so instead of downloading music, it's now just download, so it's a little simpler. The song section under library also gains shuffle, so before you actually had to be playing music in order to shuffle it, now you can start shuffling your music before you start playing it, so that's a nice welcome tweak. Also under the music app, under the For You tab, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see that the Connect posts are now streaming in here, so again, they're trying to focus more attention on the Connect feature. The player within the music app also gains this quick option for outputting the audio to other sources such as Bluetooth headphones or speakers or AirPlay devices. The second beta also fixes something that seemed a little peculiar with the first beta, which is the fact that the news app was one of the few apps you couldn't remove, so now it joins the others as an Xable app. Curiously, the second beta actually gets rid of the updated keyboard sound from the first beta, so now we're back to the classic sound. So I'm not sure if this is going to be fixed before we see the final release, but right now they've gone back to classic. We'll also find some new features under settings, specifically under message settings. So if we go to messages, we now have a toggle that allows us to turn on low quality image mode. So if we turn this on, this will actually lower the image quality that you send via messaging. We also get a new setting under the Maps app, and if you go down here, you can see we now have the option to show parked location, and this uses the Bluetooth or Apple CarPlay feature within your car to record your location of your car when you disconnect from it or when you leave it. Now, of course, if it can record the location of your car, it will appear on your map. They've also made a slight tweak here to the notification center, so instead of missed, it's now recent. They've also updated the Watch app with a featured complication section under the Face Gallery. So, uh, these are watch faces paired with specific complications, so if you want to try them out, this is a good way of exploring them. Another welcome new feature under the Apple Watch app under settings is our background app refresh option. So this allows us to refresh the content of the apps on the Apple Watch, so it keeps them more current and updated and ready to launch, so it should speed up performance. But of course, if you're updating all these apps in the background, it will reduce battery life. So this is where you can turn off certain apps or just turn off the feature entirely. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed this look at the second beta of iOS 10. Of course, I'll keep you covered as the third, fourth, fifth, and however many betas we get to before we see the final release, so stay tuned. And if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll see you again in the next video.